If you're having a water leaking problem in your RV and you notice that this reinforced plastic hose is the junction that's leaking, let me show you why. This this is a PEX hose, P-E-X, a PEX clamp, a PEX fitting, but this is not PEX. It's not designed to be mated to these fittings. So here's what you got to do. You remove, go ahead and start with a fresh fitting, a new brass PEX fitting, cut a short piece of PEX, join it to another PEX fitting like this one, and then a barbed fitting. Now I jumped up from half inch to five eighths of an inch. This is half inch PEX. This is five eighths barbed, and here's why. If you use half inch barbed, it just swims around in there. There's a lot of room in there. But a 5 8 barbed will slide right up in there and we'll be able to clamp it with a worm gear clamp. So let me show you what we're going to do. I've gone ahead and shut the water supply off to the RV. The water pump is turned off and taped down because I don't want anybody accidentally coming in here and turning the pump on when I got open lines over there. So we're going to go ahead and drain everything, get get the water out of here so here's where the leak actually was I've already cut the um, hose off the T and added that little short section of PEX right there now we're going to install the the new fitting and clamp it. And these tools are not really that cheap. That's about a $65 clamping tool. The clamps themselves are relatively cheap. You can get a whole bag of them for about six bucks. Um, your fittings, you probably have about six bucks in, invested in your fittings. You'll need a, they, they make a really cheap, this they make a really cheap PEX cutting tool. I recommend you get it. This is not it, but it does the job. I had it already. It's for PVC. The worm gear clamp, you'll need a, a driver for that. All right, so let me install it. You can see what it looks like in the end and if it works. Here's what you have in the end. On the Starting at the right-hand side, you got a brand new copper PEX. T. Moving to the left, about a two inch section of PEX. Then there's a PEX with a female coupling. Then to the left of that is a, that's a half inch PEX female coupling. Then to the left of that is a five eighths inch male coupling and a worm gear clamp. Now I had to work pretty hard at getting that uh, hose to push up in there into that uh, barbed 5 8 male coupling but that's what you need is a good tight fit and this should work. We're going to power up the uh, uh, the water supply. I'm going to cut all my valves off and, and fire up the water supply and we'll monitor it. And I've got some paper towel under it and paper towel will be a kind of a telltale, a tattletale uh, to me as to whether this thing drips over a long period of time. If it's not dripping now, the paper towel stays and I'll monitor it for several days afterward just to make sure that it, uh, it didn't leak. All right, I've got full water pressure on it now, and there are no leaks, and it's good and tight. I do not suspect it's going to start leaking. So I'm going to go through the process now and replace every one of those junctions where that flexible reinforced plastic water pipe is attached to a PEX fitting. That is a bad deal. <laughs> You're asking for trouble if you don't do this. Uh, let me show you the parts that are involved by part number and where I got them.
Okay, you can see here I got my materials at Lowe's. This receipt's just for these two fittings. These two fittings that are put together here. The, I bought five of them. I knew I had at least five places I need to replace. I spent about $34 in fittings alone. The PEX, which is this red stuff, or this, you can get it in colors, red for hot water, cold, uh, blue for cold water. It's very inexpensive. You just need a short section of it to do this job. I think it comes in four or five or six foot lengths for just like two dollars and fifty cents. Get a bag of clamps. Get whatever clamps work with the pliers that you buy. In other words, the brand. Like these are Shark Bite branded clamp pliers. So I bought Shark Bite branded half inch clamps. And these are they work just fine. They're easy to use. Um, these types of uh, clamps are for a solid brass ring and you have to have a mile of room in order to be able to use them. They're great if you're building some kind of assembly outside and then putting it inside a tight spot. But you can't put these underneath a sink and underneath where I'm at. I'm under the stove at this point. But if, if you have the Apollo type pliers, you would get the Apollo type, you know, um, clamps. Worm gear, um, these the very common. Any hardware store is going to have these. Just get get the ones that are going to fit over this plastic reinforced um, water hose. All right. Let's see what else you need. That's that's really about it. All right. That and some time and patience, and you'll have it knocked out pretty quick. I'm just trying to save you some some uh, aggravation because I have gone around the world and back trying to look for a T-fitting that will have this on the end of it. It doesn't seem to exist, so here's my answer. My answer to, to solving the problem. Alright. Lowe's Proline Barbed Adapter. That's a 5 8 inch. That's what this part is right here. 5 8 inch barbed Half inch is the thread size. That's male IP. MIP is male. Um, this next fitting is made by Sharp Bite. It is a uh, half inch thread, half inch uh, PEX, and that's female. This is the female side. This is a five pack for about $21.55. Five of them. All right, so that's what you need. Good luck. Any questions, shoot them down below. I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching. I'm just about tired of fooling with snakes. I reach in here to turn my water off so I could fix a leak. And I see a frog right there. And a snake, there's his head right there.